guys, I am currently in the city center here in Cape Town. This place is amazing. I'm actually just like missioning around. Hopefully I'll find some cool skate spots for during the day. But today I actually want to tell you guys a story that impacted me like crazy. Uh, but before that, I need coffee. So I've changed my mind. It is way too hot for coffee, but Red Bull never disappoints. Okay, I think this spot is gonna work just fine. Here is to Red Bull. <laughs> you guys splash some stuff on the lens. And I was um, a Vicky Stout and I got some uh, Krispy Kremes as well. It's a problem because I don't know if it's everywhere else in South Africa like this right now, but in Cape Town at every engine garage there's now Krispy Kremes available. So um, yeah, that's, that's not good, especially for me. But what I actually wanted to share with you guys is a couple of days back, Myself and a friend of mine were on our way somewhere and before we went there we stopped at like a garage to go buy a couple of things, not Krispy Kremes, I promise. <laughs> when we were there, this might sound like a super weird story, but I really needed to go to the bathroom. So I went to the bathroom and then it was one of those bathrooms that had like the two rand coin slot in, so you had to pay to go to the restroom and I didn't have any cash, like loose change on me. So I walked away and I left and just before I got out of the entrance of the garage, there was a guy standing behind me and I know like I know we're not supposed to judge and this is maybe like super wrong of me but it was pretty obvious that this guy was homeless and then he did something that I will never forget so he tapped me on my shoulder and he asked me would you like to go to the bathroom <laughs> at first I was like wait what is going on here and then he reached into his jacket pocket and he pulled out like this old see-through plastic bank bag with a bunch of coins in it he reached into the bag and he took out like a two rand coin and he gave it to me and he just said to me yeah take this go to the bathroom and the crazy thing was obviously i felt so bad and i didn't want to take his money at all and i kept saying no no it's fine like keep it it's really chilled but he kept persisting to where eventually i was like okay cool thank you so much i went to the bathroom and um, after that I came back out and he was standing like outside the shop Then I went to my car just to get some cash to at least give back to him and um, when I gave him back the money he just kept saying no he doesn't want the money at all he gave me the two rand that was from him to me it's fine don't worry about it now like I don't know if it was just me but in that situation that was something that was like it completely didn't just catch me off guard but it shocked me and it did something like it, it just blew my mind just had such a massive impact on me and it challenged me so much on my generosity and how generous am I being with the people around me people that I know and people that I don't know yeah that was actually really just something super cool and special that happened to me the last couple of days back and I'll talk more about generosity in this video but for now I am actually sitting at like quite a cool I don't know it could be cool little skate spots I'm gonna try and do a couple of tricks on this thing and then um, carry on with the video in the rest of the city center I would get in. So here's the thing about generosity is it is super contagious. So we live in a time today where most people are generally very self-centered. It's all about me, myself and I worrying about my bills at the end of the month that we forget about the people around us. And it can be so easy to live for yourself and not live to better not just your own life but the lives of people around you. And that's the thing. So when you do something generous in today's day and age, it's very easy for that thing to stand out and to impact people like crazy. You see, the thing is that when you live for yourself, generally your world is very small. But when you make a conscious decision to be more generous and to better the lives of the people around you, it expands your world by so much. I'm a firm believer in the saying that says, if you want something, then give it away. If you want love, give love away. If you want time, give time away. Even if you want finances, give finances away. Not only is this like a statement I believe in, but the Bible speaks about this so many times. But anyways, off to find spot number two hopefully fingers crossed okay so i found this spot it's like a bank outside of what i think is a bank i don't know i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get chased away but i'm gonna just skate and see 
what happens. It looks really fun. All right, um, so they officially chased me away. <laughs> so off to either the next spot or hopefully the skate park is close by where I am. I miss street skateboarding so much. There's like so much thrill to it. It's so much fun. Not that today is any little bit successful. I haven't really gotten any tricks to rave about. Um, maybe it'll get better. Sweet, so after a long amount of walking, I finally found my next spot. Check how cool this spot is. It's like a little ramp or run up with two stairs at the end. So I'm gonna try to do like three tricks on this thing and then I'm done because I am just mad tired right now. So you guys are gonna have to excuse my extreme sweatiness right now um, I can only imagine how it looks I can't really see that well but I guess the whole point of this video is that in challenging myself I'd like to challenge you as well I'd like to challenge you to ask yourself the simple question of am I really making an effort to be generous with the people around me and can I really say that when people are in my presence and in my life that they are better off or if I'm honest with myself am I really just living for me and maybe on a bit more of a practical level I'd like to challenge you to find some somebody in your life this next week as soon as possible and do something generous for that person it can be anything it might just be something as simple as giving 10 or 15 minutes of your time maybe it is blessing someone with money or just loving on that person you know it's not always about how much we give or the amount that we give but it's the sacrifice behind it you know for the homeless man that gave me two rand sure it's just two rand and it might even not be that much to me or to many of you guys watching this but for him that amount is quite significant and I think it takes takes a lot of sacrifice in his shoes to do something like that. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna end off the video here. I hope that my message came through and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed like messing around in town as well, street skateboarding again, it was really so much fun. But I do wanna say guys, if you like this video, remember to leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe for a lot more content coming your way. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all of your support. And until tomorrow, have an amazing day. Please, no.